I'm standing on an extension ladder eight feet off the ground. With one arm through the rungs, I held on to the Zalzal with both hands. As I leaned in to get a closer look at the large metal door hinge I was trying to cut off, I felt a sharp stinging pain in my left eyeball. Yes, one of the hazards of cutting metal with a power saw is that tiny flecks of metal come shooting off the blade at blinding speed. Inside the house, my wife and daughter Estelle, who was visiting for Thanksgiving weekend, were enjoying their relaxing Sunday morning. I told my wife matter-of-fact what I did. Were you wearing safety glasses? No, of course not. I see her stop herself from saying what I didn't need to be told. Instead, she helps as we try various ways of rinsing it out. It feels like something big is in my eye, but neither Lejun nor Estelle can see anything. We had a nice lunch planned and sat down to enjoy it. With one eye open, I sat and talked and tried to make light of my stupidity, but it was starting to feel worse. So off to the emergency room. I sat in the ER waiting room of our rural county hospital, waiting to be seen. I squirmed in my seat as the pain in my eye increased. My wife pleaded from time to time with the registration lady that I really was suffering, but to no avail. A man came in in a wheelchair and said he was having chest pains and they took him back behind the closed doors right away. After a few minutes, I said loud enough for the three other people in the waiting room to hear, maybe I should have said I had chest pains. It didn't get a laugh. Tough room. A nurse, a seeming veteran of the ER, friendly and easygoing, took me back and began asking me the required questions. Have you now or have you ever had COVID? Have you been tested for COVID? Does anyone you know have COVID? Do you think you might get COVID? If given the chance, would you get COVID? And so on. The nurse then said she would put a couple of drops in my eye to help. Great, eye drops. Sure, that'll help. I got a metal spike in my eyeball. Can somebody just get a pair of pliers and pull it out? Within 30 seconds of those two or three drops in my eye, I could open my eye and the pain vanished. 
What is that? A local anesthesia? On my eyeball? It truly was the most compassionate thing anyone had done for me all year. A doctor came in, perhaps the only one in the hospital on that Sunday afternoon, and says, Metal in the eye, huh? Were you wearing safety glasses? He examined the eye with binocular glasses and a light so bright it lit up the back of my head from the inside. And he said, Nope, nothing in there. Next, he put a dye in my eye and rolled my eyelid back around a Q-tip and then checked it with a UV light. Yep, it scratched. A pretty good sized divot, too. He also told me that fortunately the cornea heals really fast and I should be better in about 24 hours, but tonight it's going to hurt and there's nothing they can do about that. The nurse came back with prescriptions for some antibiotic eye gel and Percocet. Percocet? I was a little suspicious. She leaned in and said, yeah, it's best if you don't tell anyone you have them. I stood in the near empty waiting room, looking out into the dark parking lot, waiting for Lejeune to come back and pick me up. How's your eye? A woman asked. I told her I got lucky and it'll be okay. I recognized her. She was there when I arrived. Her son was in the ER and they were trying to find him a bed in a neighboring hospital, but everything around is full. I give her a smile and walk out to meet my wife. So I got away with another act of careless stupidity and a prescription for one of the most notorious drugs of the past decade. And finally, I got to go home and close my eyes.